Well, if you know me, you know I'm all about the smart home and I'm all about smart lights. And to learn more about smart lights from GE, I have Carmen from GE Lighting. Thanks for joining us. Hey, great to be here. A lot of great things happening at CES. We're going to be very excited to see coming in 2024. One of the new things that really is new to the market from a smart lighting standpoint are under cabinet fixtures. Typically what we've seen from under cabinet smart home options have been a light strip or a rope light that really don't do a great job from clarity or putting light down where you want to see it. The sync under cabinet strip solved that. Edge lit design, super bright light that dimmed down to less so than 1%. Bright. <laughs> But put light where you need it inside of the countertop instead of on the backsplash. It doesn't really do a whole lot. The other thing that you're going to see, like these under cabinet fixtures, is compatibility with matter. So you're going to see compatibility with our under cabinet fixtures, our smart lights, smart plugs, all will become matter compatible in 2024 so that now you can connect through the sync app through Matter, and also with our high-end luxury Savant home products. So if it is Matter compatible, then are you able to control this via voice with smart speakers? Yes, so you'd be able to control the uh, Apple, SmartThings, Google, or Alexa using your voice. So it doesn't matter what ecosystem your smart home is based out of, because it's Matter compatible, you're gonna be able to have that option. What about the other ways of controlling the under cabinet lights? Is there a switch or? So we have multiple ways. So we've got our on device and what is great about this is that because these are daisy chained together, I can turn all these on or off using one switch. Love it. I use it with my voice. I can use it with the sync app. I also can pair this with a sync smart switch. So we have wire free switches that I could put on the wall don't need an electrician, don't need anybody to come in and actually wire these together. That'll work like a traditional switch, but turn these lights on, dim them, and brighten them, just like a traditional switch would. I'm gonna take a wild guess, Carmen, and assume that you could also set schedules inside the app. You can absolutely set schedules, control away from home, and like you talked about, use your voice. It's just like, this is what, this, this is a smart part of smart lights, right? Because you have so many different options to control it. Even if you're traveling, you want to make it look like you're at home, right? To prevent burglars, you can do that all as well. Or you're coming home late and you know what? You forgot to turn the lights on before you pull in. Now your lights are on and you're coming home to a brightly lit house. Now, Carmen, I'm a super geeky guy. I love different kind of colors. It sets the mood and ambience uh, inside a home. Tell me about the different types of uh, light strips that you have that are RGB, like different types of colors. So a couple different ways of doing that. Certainly from a 16 million color standpoint, the ability to pick that exact right yeah. tone and that right color. But with our dynamic effects product, you're not only able to change the 16 foot strip, you can change two and three inch sections. So you can create gradients, you can create individual color segments, you can even turn certain segments off. So if you wanted to create a different look or feel. This is a game changer. Right? Yeah. You now have that customization and that personalization that you couldn't get before where it was nice to have something that cycled through colors. Now you've got that finite control at the discrete level. You know, I have to say one thing. You got these new uh, shapeable smart lights. It kind of reminds me of the old school neon lights. Absolutely, but what is better about these than neon is from a shapeability standpoint, yeah. very easy to shape in our app. So you remember the game Battleship? Of course. Being able to take from our app with our grid and to be able to create these awesome shapes very simply by where to place the clips, very easy to do, but also from the neon shape standpoint, where you have to take the black electrical tape if you wanted to make a name yes. and you had to yeah. do the eye in the sync app. Because we have that segment control, you can just turn off that segment between the dot in the eye and the center of the eye, and now you've got something that looks awesome and amazing without needing some of the limitations that you had with those neon yeah. lights that require the black electrical tape 
to X out what you didn't want to see. And it's all modular as well, right? And That's all right. of these different, even different types of light, light bulbs, light strips, under the cabinet lights, you can have those and group them all together and control them by a voice app or just manually as well. Absolutely, that's what's great about it. You can control at the room level, so if you want all your lights in the kitchen to turn on or off, yeah. but within that you can still create groups. So if you want your lighting over the island or the under cabinet lights all be grouped together, yeah. you can still control those at the device level. And what I love about it and what really gets excited is you're not limited to what your electrician decided should be connected yeah. together. Using a smart switch, we can control those in any group in any way that you want to put those together, even if they're not hardwired on the same circuit. I love it. Carmen, you know, people, if you are going to upgrade your home, if you're getting interested in the smart home, trust me, you want to start at the smart lights. Carmen, thanks so much. Thank you for the time.